Hello. Hope everybody's doing okay. Um, I'm basically waiting for my um, window to fully dry before I can fill the pond. Can't fill the pond yet. I haven't done all the uh, filtration system. So the story behind all that is that I currently have a pond and I have some of the filtration system and, and that's the reason, another reason as to why I didn't want to install a bottom drain. There was a few reasons behind that. It wasn't just because I'm old school and because I don't really like bottom drains because of the amount of people who've got problems with bottom drains with you know a lot of rubbish uh, being stuck in there and all that but anyway not gonna go into that there's a few reasons to why I don't want to go um, I didn't want to go with the bottom drain the first one very first one was because of what's beneath um, below the meter a meter 20 it was a bit risky to damage oops all my paperwork is flying everywhere um, I want to have a meter 20 of depth and I know that my pond is going to be three meters by a meter 80 so three meters long by a meter 80 um, wide by a meter 20 deep so those are the internal dimensions below the meter 20 when I couldn't carry on digging by hand and I had to call somebody with a digger we found even more rubbish. If you've seen my previous video, you know that I found some stuff that beyond the joke, uh, you know, layers of um, double glazing and cans of um, oil, engine oils. And <clears throat> below that, there is like a massive plate of steel. I don't know how big it was, but the digger was the guy with the digger was a little bit worried to remove it. And on the top of that, there was um, a lot of concrete. Some of them we've removed, some of them that we couldn't. So I could not dig any deeper to have a bottom drain. Um, and also, and that is a mistake that I've done, sort of a mistake. I could not move the fish. I currently have a small pond. I could not move the fish because I've got two dogs, one quite large, over 40 kilos, and the other one is only two. Uh, you've seen him many times, Dylan, the Leo Cockapoo, but he's absolutely crazy and I could not put them into a uh, temporary pool. We've got cats as well. There are a lot of seagulls around and there are some herons and that's the reason why I have kept, you know, also build a roof. But that's another reason why I haven't moved the fish. Um, so now, because I haven't moved the fish, I haven't been able to install the filtration system that I wanted. So I'm doing that outside the pond and at the last minute when the window is fully you know when the seal sealant is fully cured and it's safe for me to fill in the pond I am planning to put that Leopold that I bought Leopold still a thousand liters um, on the side where Matilda is the tortoise is cover it as much as I can protect it as much as I can and then build very quickly the area for the filtration system put that all ready and then build that filtration house because I already had a lot of filtration system in place I think if I had had more money I would have built the pond slightly differently 
build a bottom drain or build a higher you know ray more raised um a pond and i would have put a nexus 220 because i like the system in saying that i also really really like the easy pod i like the small print i like the way they work they're easy to maintain and you can't really go wrong with them and they are lighter so because i had an easy pod i decided to stick with the all the filtration system that i had which was pump fed and add more to it so because i'm not very good with um you know i can't imagine things i'm going to build them that's not a problem but i'm struggle to imagine all the pipework the dimensions and and i am french and when you start talking to me in inches i'm like ah, completely lost and so easier for me to draw it go to the go to the um, my core dealer and go through the entire filtration system so this is what i've prepared for them i have already bought quite a lot because we've been through it already once but i've already made some uh, decisions where i was going to build like a moving bed which i'm currently building now um and so anyway i've done on a computer because i've drawn it many many times but i can't draw to save my life and uh, sorry about dylan um <laughs> dylan hey come here take care um so what i've done is i've done it on the computer and this is what it looks like so what it looks like was that this was the overall view of the pond and now you can see I've got the bottom drain and then this, the pipe goes out over the pond, gate valve, the pond. Here I'm going to have the easy pod and a moving bed. Here I'm going to have the sieve, the UV and the multi bay. And on this side I've got the tempest, pond in a pump, a pump in the pond, sorry, with the mountain tree schema goes out of the pond goes to the tempest the tempest go to the shower so i know a lot of people are going to say ah oh, you can only put 5000 liters an hour on the uh, um on the tempest and your shower should be more than that well i agree and i disagree with that um my experience of showers are limited compared to some a few people obviously but I've been running a trickly shower, trickling shower, DIY shower made of drawers, you know, those plastic drawers. Um, and they were running at 5,000 um, liters an hour and they were absolutely perfect. But anyway, this that's not the point of the discussion right now. I just wanted to show you what I've done. So that was the overall view of the pond. Then this was my entire system just for the uh, easy pod tempest so with all the uh, it's not the exact order okay and not at the right height compared to that but it's, that's all i could do on the computer so um um i put here everything i needed the gate valve the ball valve etc etc um then what i've done is sorry um i've done the same thing for the sieve uh, I will have an extra UV and the multi ray and then and then and then and then I've got the same thing which is not again in the right um, the tempest is here at the corner first corner of the pond so it's easy access to uh, to clean it and the shower is at the back of the pond but on the same on the width of the pond basically um, and, the, and again this is everything that I need so you can roughly see what I'm going to do um so i wish i had martin from uh, devon koi pond um devon koi of course <laughs> he's an expert on this kind of things but i've done my best what i will do is i will uh i've been through that with the uh, with the guy with my uh, koi dealer um who's also a pond builder uh, he said everything i had done was perfect he modified just two things um 
just adding a gate valve um, you know to avoid um, to avoid um, draining the uh, filtration system um, which I didn't think about and um, but this is why I ran past them and um, and then what I've done is um, just bought all the bits really um, but I still wish that Martin was here to help me out <laughs> you're too far I wish you were here in Hampshire right guys I'm gonna start building my um, um moving bed which is <laughs> and this was not done on purpose it was made in france <laughs> it wasn't done on purpose but here we go so what i've done so far is this i started with the outlet because it was much much easier um, um what i've done is i've got a bulkhead two inch bulkhead here um with all the uh, drill there here um, and here there will be a cap because it will be K plus media um, I've got all my bits in there to carry on I've got I will have a waste valve and ov obviously an inlet so I'm gonna get on with that and I catch you on the next one <laughs>